girl, my name is Shine. Today I'll be reacting to B2B's return with Only One For Me. I'm really excited for this. I've pretty much been a fan of them since like 2015. Like I really got into them about 2015. Um, since that was also around the time I started really getting back into K-pop and you know, learning everything, you know, starting to become like really into it. Um, but I kind of knew them since like 2013, 2014. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in some of my other videos, but Comcast used to, or Xfinity used to have, um, or they do, still do, but it's an on-demand service. Um, they have like a music section where you can watch like music videos and whatnot. They used to have a K-pop section, and under that K-pop section, the very first B2B video I saw was for their song Father, and then their debut song Insane. Those were the two videos I played a lot whenever they were on there. So that was the, my introduction to B2B, so I'm really excited to, because I got to see kind of their growth through the years. So, I'm really excited for this comeback. Um, I don't think it's a ballad. They've done ballads obviously before. Um, like, have, even their last comeback was a ballad, so I think this might be sort of a ballad, sort of not a ballad, but we'll see. Um, so without further ado, this is B2B with only one for me. Here we go. Oh, I don't think this is a ballad. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Hyunchik um, produced this. That's what I was thinking of. Oh no, it is kind of a soft ballad. It's like a pop ballad, I want to say. <laughs> Neil in his hair. I'm so glad his hair is growing out though. I saw that Hello Counselor um, uh, show, the Hello Pony Without Hello Counselor, and I like, almost cried. Was it Hyun or Min Hyuk that produces? I think it was Hyun Shake. Oh, it's definitely not a pop hell, dude. I think it's a tropical kind of feel. <laughs> oh, <it's so> <laughs> oh, it switches between the chorus is a bit faster, and then the 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 verses have like kind of like a ballad feel, like a pop ballad feel. I really like how his Koreans improved enough to have him start doing more Korean lines and English lines. That's really good. Oh my gosh, that looks so dangerous though. Oh my gosh. My anxiety. Oh, I like that kind of like how it switches from like soft to like really more pop. I'm trying to read what those words say in the back. This is us having last. I can't read that. Someone let me know what that says. The little metal thing that's on fire in the background. Let me know what that says. Hey, 
dude, I love it. Dude, B2B never disappoints. Like I said, I've been a fan of them since... Well, 2015, I got really into them because that's when I was really getting into K-pop. But I really loved uh, listening to Father and Insane when they were on the Xfinity music section and when they had K-pop there for a while. Like, those two I would play all the time. I see it, I play it. Um, and I also watched their diaries, too. The MTV diaries that happened, like, way back in the day. Those were funny. I think that's what ultimately made me, like, fall in love with BTV was just those MTV diaries, especially with Sungjae and that watermelon. Oof, lord. Um, but, yo, this is really good. Definitely has that tropical vibe. I really like how, like, the verses are so sort of, like, kind of, like, pop ballady, and then it switches into, um, that, like, tropical feel with the chorus. Um, that's why I kind of initially thought it might have been, like, a ballad or, like, a pop ballad, but I like that switch. Um, it's definitely a really good summer song, like, what I picture is, like, listening to this while walking, this is if you're in Korea, because I've been to Korea, I went to there last year, and all I can picture right now is just walking down Hangang, Han River, like, that park area, um, maybe settling down somewhere, getting, ordering chicken, getting beer, um, and just relaxing with friends with this song playing in the background, plus a few others that I can think of, um, that's just like a perfect like night out you know just finish school um you know you hopefully you're free from like working for a little bit so this is just like a very relaxing like hangout at like Hong Kong river with like chicken and beer this song playing background perfect um but i really like um peniel peniel has lately i think has been rapping more in korean like, when he first started, he kind of had, like, short, like, English lines, and as he improved with his rap and whatnot, he had a little bit more English lines and, um, Korean lines, but lately, I think starting from, I want to say, I'll be your man, maybe just a little bit before that, he started rapping more in Korean with an occasional, like, English line, so, um, that's really good to see and how much he's improved. Also, his hair! Um, I mentioned in the middle of this that um, he was on Hello Counselor because he had hair loss. Um, but he said he was trying to grow it out lately. And to see that he's able to dye it a bit, hopefully it's not too damaging for his hair because, you know, he's dealt with hair loss. Um, and he's now dyeing his hair bits of blonde or brownish on top of the tips of what his hair looks like. Hopefully it's not too damaging as soon as he's taking care of his hair because it's so good to see him with hair. <laughs> It's good to see him, but I kind of I kind of grew fond of him with his shaved hair. So whether that makes a return or not, I really don't care. Hopefully he just has a healthy head of hair. <laughs> Hopefully his scalp will be fine and whatnot. So yeah, absolutely. I definitely adore this song. Definitely because it's definitely obviously different. Lately they've been doing a lot of ballads since that's I guess what they're most recognized for, which is really good because it seems like people are recognizing their vocals a lot more. Um, but it's always nice to see them do like a dance track. It was, I feel like this is going to be a dance track. So I'm really curious as, as of what the choreography will be for this. And I really can't wait to see the promotions and whatnot. All in all, simply put, uh, I really, really like this. Like, like I said, I can imagine just like walking down Hangang River or just like settling down somewhere near Hangang River. Uh, chicken beer friends in the background this song plus others on a playlist just playing just so you can just relax after like a whole study load or whatnot um or a huge workload or a huge like just basically a huge stress reliever and whatnot i really like how the verses seem like kind of like a i guess pop ballad i want to say and then it switches into that like tropical vibe the chorus has i really like it the song is very relaxing definitely Fists like, like I said, Hong Kong River walking or going to a beach. Um, so yeah, B2B never disappoints. Really happy to see them trying new things. And if I'm not mistaken, it was Shun Sheik that produced this, I think. Um, correct me if I am wrong. <laughs> so, um... All in all, simply put, I really love this. Absolutely amazing. B2B never disappoints. Definitely one of those tracks you can listen to when I, on a day you want to relieve stress. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you didn't like subscribe, all the fun stuff, you know, check this song out. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.